Howdy folks, Kerbo here. Welcome back to the final episode of Wasteland Survival on Pertam. We're going to escape this place, I think. We've got a, uh, a thrown together ship here. It's all hydrogen powered now. A bigger tank on there, and we're going to see if we can get into space. Got some thrusters just kind of round everywhere. It's not pretty, but I'm hoping it gets the job done. <laughs> So I've got the large thruster on the back there. That's going to be our main thrust up into space. Got just enough downward facing small thrusters that we can hover. Let's give this thing a whirl, shall we? I've got the hydrogen tank all topped off. Uh, I got that out of the mobile base down there. And flew back up here, which used three percentage or so. I'm hoping we have enough power. There goes nothing. Batteries on auto. Hydrogen engines are go. We're gonna lift off. And we're gonna point skyward. I'm gonna turn off the forward thrusters. Now I should set this up with like thrust limiting and stuff. I didn't actually do that. That would have been the smart thing to do. Let's see how high we can get. I should do the thrust overrides. Oh, I'm just sitting here pulsing the engines. That way we're not burning too much. I think we're doing okay on the fuel burn. Try to keep it around 100 meters per second. Coming up on 4K. Atmospheric gravity is down to. 0.5. Pretty crazy. Starting to get dark out. Where is my altitude? I guess the altitude is only up there. Strange. Kind of on the cockpit display, I suppose. Alright, 0.32. We're getting out there. There's the planet way down there. <laughs> Looks pretty small from up here, doesn't it? Looks pretty darn small. The freighter there in the background. 0.2 gravity. Once we hit zero, then we're out of the gravity well of the planet and we're technically in space. So I'm just kind of pulsing the engine a bit. Keep the speed up. Hopefully we're not going to run into any asteroids. I don't see any out there. Looking good so far. Point one two. Uh, once we got up, we didn't really burn that much hydrogen, so that's good. We still got 90 some odd percent. That's good. I did add two more gyros. Uh, the roll authority still isn't very good. Kind of, kind of weird, but so strange because you have such large amounts of gyroscopic authority in the uh, yaw and pitch, but not roll. He's getting down a little bit. Point oh six. Any asteroids out here? Oh, there's one. It's, uh, it's probably inside the well. There's some up there. Oh, point zero zero. I think we are officially in space. Uh, 
Uh, I need to turn my thrusters on so I can slow back down. Cool. I'm going to head over to and we're going to dock to an asteroid. Maybe. Slowed back down here. So yeah, one of these over there. Uh, I just remembered I forgot to put an ore detector on here. <laughs> Oops. Cool, we're in space. I should not be pointing directly at that. That's a mistake. Definitely be pointing away. Rust on this vector a little bit. Cool, we're in space. We escaped. We survived so far. Let's see if we can get docked to an asteroid. See what kind of goodies it might have. It has eyes. Excuse me, that would be great. But I brought some food up here, but I, you know, I didn't bring enough stuff to permanently stay up here. Basically, got to dump that off into the ship. All I have is, is a survival kit. So in theory, I could, you know, build up in here. It's kind of hard to tell how far away that asteroid is. Might want to start slowing down eventually. I turn the thrusters back on. We slow down pretty quick, so we're good. Forward thrusters back on. Start slowing down. A gnarly looking asteroid. An unknown signal. I think we'll uh, ignore that. Alright, forward thrusters engaged. Coming to a stop. We have arrived at an asteroid. Here we go. We made it into space. Is there anything on this asteroid? Question. It's got a little hollowed out area. Nice. I don't have a lot of directional thrust, so I have to be careful. I just remembered I took the lights off and I didn't put any lights back on. I discovered sacred something. Mining transport. All kinds of people out here in space. So the only lights I have are my suit. We park in here. I do have a landing gear. We get really dark in here when the sunlight's no longer hitting in here. Some kind of little perch that I can hit without knocking my little thruster off. Okay, we're looking kind of close. Get nestled down in here. Come on, lock on. There you go. We are locked. Hydrogen thrust is off. And I need some food. Yeah. Go. Awesome. Uh, I've got one extra oxygen bottle. Didn't bring a hydrogen bottle, so I'll have to watch out for that.
Wow, we're in space. In space engineers. Awesome. Oh, there we go. Oh, the dampeners were off. Okay. I haven't used my jetpack the entire series. <laughs> Forgot about that. Yeah, what we got in here? Anything? Nothing the drill can detect. In theory, you know, I could mine stone and put that in the survival kit and start over up here in space. But I think I want to wrap up the series kind of starting to lose interest in Space Engineers. I don't want to burn out. So if you've been around the channel a while, you know I skip around a lot of different games and genres. I'm not sure what's going to be next. And we'll probably revisit Space Engineers again at some point. But that is going to be it for the Pertam series. We have escaped Pertam. Survived. We had some fun. So long, Pertam. Thanks for hanging out, hanging out with me on the journey. Y'all take care, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.